In this video, I will show you how to set up your own project on Giveth. Let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure we're logged into MetaMask or whatever wallet you're using and connected to the right account. For this video, I'm connected to Gnosis Chain, but you can also set up projects while connected to ETH mainnet. Once we've checked that we're signed in and connected to the right account in MetaMask, we can navigate to our Giveth account, which will prompt a signature with your wallet. This allows MetaMask to connect to Giveth. As you can see, we don't have a profile set up at the moment. You can always donate without filling out the profile information, but you can't set up a project without the profile. So if we select create a project right now, we'll be prompted to complete our profile. The information in your profile helps the Giveth team get to know you a little better and provides them with minimal contact information so that they can provide support if it's needed. The three required elements for setting up a profile are your first name, last name, and email. There are also optional fields for location and a website or URL. For now, I'm just going to save and continue without filling out the optional fields. You also have the option to upload a profile picture. And again, I'm going to skip this step. Great, we have a profile now. When we've finished reveling in the warm glow of digital fireworks and achievement, we can create our first project. But first, let's take a moment to cover the project submission guidelines. Projects should have a clear description of the organization and what will be done with the funds. Having a unique or custom banner helps your project stand out and get noticed by donors. Please read the covenant and terms of use prior to setting up your project so that you do not violate any of the policies outlined in those documents. And lastly are the optional elements. It's always good to include photos or videos when possible and to provide relevant links to websites or repositories of work. Now, let's get into filling out the actual project information. We'll start by filling out the project name. For this demo, I'll be setting up a project named Open Beta. Next, I'll fill out the project description. For this demo, I'll copy and paste my description, but be sure to take your time here. Try to follow the submission guidelines, and if you need any tips for writing a good description, check out the link right above this box. Next, we can tag the project with up to five categories. These categories can be used to filter projects. Donors can use these category filters to better find projects that are relevant to their own interests. For this project, I will select nonprofit technology, and other. After selecting categories, we can specify a location for the project. If the project is working in a physical location, please specify that here. If the work is done remotely or if the project has a global impact, we can leave the location blank and check the box for global impact. Since this is a software and data project, I'll use the checkbox. After specifying the location, we will upload a cover image to be used on our project. The photo we upload at this point will be used in two different places. As you can see here, the photo is used on your project tile. This is what donors will see when exploring projects. It's also used as the banner for your project page, so take care in selecting an image that stands out and is attractive. The last item we need in order to complete the project and start receiving donations is the receiving address. This address will default to the address associated with your profile. If you have multiple projects or would simply like to receive donations at a different address than the one associated with your profile, you can change that address here. One of the recent changes to our platform is the ability to receive on separate addresses on mainnet and Gnosis Chain. You could choose to keep the same address for mainnet and Gnosis Chain, or you could have separate ones if you like. You can also include a ENS domain if you're accepting donations on mainnet, or even a multisig wallet. It's important to keep in mind though, for your Gnosis Chain address to only include a wallet address such as your address from MetaMask that we explained earlier. 
Do not include an address from an exchange like Binance, Crypto.com, FTX, Gemini, or any other exchange, since funds may be lost since a lot of exchanges only support mainnet. If you're new to Web3, we recommend to use an online wallet such as MetaMask and use the same address for mainnet and Gnosis Chain just to keep things simple. One more thing to note is that if you create multiple projects, then you'll need to create multiple addresses for them. So you are not allowed to have one address for multiple projects. You'll need to create a new wallet or a new address. Once we've set our receiving address, we can go ahead and publish the project. And the project is live. Take a moment to celebrate with more digital fireworks, then start sharing your project and getting those donations. It's important to note that while the project is live, the Giveth team will review the project before listing. Having a project listed just means that the project is discoverable when browsing the project section of the website. The team will list the project once they've confirmed the project description is adequate, the project has a unique banner, and the project does not violate the covenant or terms of use. Even if the project is not listed, the page will be live and functional. It just won't be discoverable on the Giveth website. That's all for setting up a project. Check out the rest of the series for information on how to get your project verified and how to make your project stand out.